the opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Ringer needed to create a boat that filled the gap between their 18-foot and 21-foot boats, and here they have the 196 Captiva. To appeal to a wider audience, they made it in both a stern drive and an outboard version. Today, we're going to take a look at the features of the 196 Captiva stern drive. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. Now the swim platform comes out 20 inches at its farthest. It won't take you past the outdrive, so make sure you're going to be diving out or off to the sides. To starboard is a concealed three-step reboarding ladder, and inside the hatch is a handhold to help assist you in getting out of the water. I very much like that there's a non-skid step going past the gunnel, and the cleat is up high outside the trip zone. The sun pad measures 35 inches by 6 feet 2 inches, and on the starboard side there's a cushion that lifts up, to create a walkthrough and a hatch lifts up in that to expose very roomy storage. The starboard bench seat cushion is removable to create another non-skid surface for getting into the cockpit. Underneath, you have access to the continuing storage from the walkthrough. Under the starboard cushion is additional storage. And in the center, storage for a 36 quart carry-on cooler and it's recessed into the deck to keep it secure. With the walkthrough in the closed position, you lift up the entire sun pad to expose the engine. In this case, a Volvo Penta 4.3 GI 200 horse V6. Plenty of room to get all around the engine for the regular maintenance checks. Even doing minor maintenance work is a no-brainer. The battery is secured in a tray over on the port hand side and it's strapped in place so it won't be moving. And look at this over on the side, a very deep waste compartment. There's empty space over on the side. I'd like to see cargo netting so that you can put some milk crates to store more items. The cockpit's roomy enough for a 21-foot boat. There's dual bucket seats, open in the back, wrap around. The option is for a flip-up bolster. I've got a stainless steel grab handle in both positions for the bench seat. And look at this for safety. A minimum height of the bulwarks, 38 inches. The sole storage is roomy enough. It's got a bit of an unusual geometry to the opening. It's hinged from the front, so you have to open it from the back, so you can't really open it all the way. I'd rather see it hinged from the side. It's supported by a gas assist strut. I'd also like to see gutters going all the way around and possibly gaskets to keep water from getting into the compartment. Our test boat was equipped with the optional snap-in carpet. The courtesy lighting is standard. The Observer gets a stainless steel grab handle, glove box, 10 inches deep, 18 inches wide with a four inch opening, a stainless steel piano hinge holding the cover in place. Up above, a standard stereo right next to it, 12 volt supply for your MP3 player, which will plug into the stereo. The helm's a very nice orderly layout. There's a trim gauge over on the left hand side. Two large gauges will be a tack and a speedometer with a four in one gauge in the center and a depth gauge over on the right hand side. A flat area with not much going on, and I'd like to see this recessed to the point where it could hold stuff. Rocker switches underneath, a drink holder on the right hand side. Ignition and blower on the left-hand side and over on the right-hand side, it's circuit breakers and a 12-volt supply. I like the Italian Isada steering wheel. It's flat at the bottom, so when you pivot, your legs won't be hitting the wheel. And of course, it's a tilt wheel. I'm happy to see that when I'm seated, I'm looking right through the windshield rather than staring at a windshield frame. And of course, up on top on the bolster, I'm right above it all anyway. The walkthrough windshield closes off normally, and there's an option for putting a lower windbreak to keep you nice and warm on those cool mornings. With the windshield in the open position, I'd like to see a strap and a snap hold it from blowing closed. Space between the consoles, 21 and a half inches. As we move up to the bow, space between the seats, 21 inches. So you will be able to sit facing each other without knocking your knees together. Lounged out, you can't quite stretch all the way out. You've got a comfortable grab handle. And for safety, the cap rail is roughly 14 inches high. And of course, underneath both cushions is the usual storage. There's an option for putting sun pad filler cushions here as well. That's our features walkthrough of the all new 196 Captiva IO by Rinker. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.